couldn't do it. I said, you, you can't do that, Jacob. You can't do what everyone else does and binge post show and blow out. You can't do it this time. And guess what? Well, I did. <laughs> I did. I've been on the seafood diet. You see it and you eat it. I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel because this is perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you, I run the world, I'd run the miles. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. Right, you lot, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. And welcome to the final installment of the, I guess you could call it 2020 bodybuilding prep um, that I did and that you guys have had to endure on this channel. I realize it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it is mine. And believe it or not guys, this channel started as a fitness and bodybuilding related channel. You know, following my journey into what I thought at the time would be competitive bodybuilding. Um, that was 2013, 2014. We're still doing it, man. I still love it just as much, and I've just competed for the second time this year and the fourth time overall in my entire life, and I feel very accomplished. Um, it was a journey that, at the end of the day, went from being fun to not so fun. You know, these last four weeks, um, well, in fact, the full eight weeks from the point where I finished my first show in Christchurch to the point where I did a national show in Tauranga, um, that eight weeks to have to try and maintain condition was hell. It was fucking hell. But we'll get into that, guys. This is this is a little bit of a recap. It's a, a bit of a, a, an opportunity for me to process some thoughts, to work through some, some things, talk some things out about the, the show and about how things went. And to update you guys, because there are some people out there that do want to know, believe it or not. So, <laughs> here we are. Um, in this show, I went for two divisions. It was my goal to really try and work out once and for all which division my, my physique suited the best. Um, and I, I did find that out. Um, I believe that my waist, even if I was shredded, shredded, shredded to the bone, would never get under 31 inches. It just wouldn't. It's the shape of my waist. And in men's physique, you really want a nice streamlined waist. I mean, you, you know, if you're going to be six foot one, um, not only do you need that width on the shoulders, um, but you also need that really, really thin waist. So I believe that my waist, the way it is, you know, my abs are quite symmetrical. I do have a, a nice six pack when I do get lean, but the width of it just doesn't look right in men's physique. So um, I've decided to, to focus on classic physique, but I did do both divisions. I did men's physique and classic physique. Classic physique was first, thankfully, so I could put my, my best effort into pumping up for that division, um, which I did. And, uh, and men's physique was second. So I actually got some more silverware. <laughs> I've got a medal. It's in my room. I will go and get it. But I got a second place. So in a national competition, guys. So it was the 2020 New Zealand, well, NZIFBB, the New Zealand International Federation Bodybuilding, um, Natural National Championships. I've never, never done a natu uh, I've never done a natural show before, and I've never done a national show before. So it was two firsts, and uh, it was a great show. You know, relatively small as far as competitors go. It was a one-show format, so there wasn't uh, pre-judging and then finals. It was just a one-show format, and um, and uh, well, it went it went <laughs> you know it went well in my class Z class, which was class C. Uh, I competed in that class in, in Christchurch as well. Class C, 180 centimeters and above. So for that class, or for, for my height at 185 centimeters, I found out that I'm not quite at six foot one. So I'm six foot and like probably seven eighths of an inch. And um, what that means is that my maximum weight in an amateur classic physique competition, I'm led to believe is 100 kilos. So I weighed in prior to the show at 88 kilograms, which was pretty much the exact same weight that I had at the South Island show. So I'm playing with, you know, 12 more kilograms that I could possibly add to my frame and still be within the weight class of Classic Physique. If Classic Physique is the division that I do want to go for. And I, I think it is, man. I think it is. I feel like 
I feel like even the, the two the two poses that get well sorry three poses that get taken out of the mandatories when you go from bodybuilding to classic physique are the front lat spread, rear lat spread and the side tricep and to be fair guys those three poses would probably have to be my three worst so as far as you know really suiting my physique moving forward I feel like classic physique is the way to go and I, I feel confident with that and we're gonna do that and I do have some proper IFBB Pro um, classic physique trunks now so I can use them for posing I can really practice my posing routines and transitions and things like that so I can be even more confident next time I get on stage as far as confidence as far as actually how I felt on stage I definitely felt like I was more prepared than my last show that's just through you know more practice posing with my coach Steve um, more time and I guess I guess I did feel like I was in slightly better shape in this show than I was last time but you know, truth be told, and I'll, I'll get into this, I feel, it, I cheated. I cheated a hell of a lot in my diet. When it started going from fun to not so fun, that's when I just couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. I wasn't doing it for the right reasons, and so it's a real struggle. When, you, when you're not doing something for, for, for the right reasons, or what seemed like the right reasons, it's, it's a real struggle to stay motivated. And so, but, but, you know, what I will say is that I finished the job. I may have cheated on my diet, but I tried to get up that next day, forget about it, get out in the streets. You know, if you were following me on if you were following me on Instagram, you would have seen that I was doing cardio every single morning. Many mornings, that cardio was done to try and clean up the mess from the last night when when I binge ate. You know what I mean? So uh, I prepped for too long. To be fair, I prepped for too long. I, you know, 16 weeks, 20 weeks at, at, at a push, but something like 24 or 26 weeks, like I did, is just too long. So this started on April the 13th. It, uh, it ended on October the 24th. And what a journey it was. What a journey it was. And we're done. That's it. So now it's time to, to bulk, but do it properly. Um, I'm sitting here 11 days post-show. I weighed myself this morning. I weighed 96 kilograms, guys. So the reason why this video wasn't made until now is because I felt depressed. I felt anxious about the amount of food that I was eating post-show after I told myself I, I, I couldn't do it. I said, you, you can't do that, Jacob. You can't do what everyone else does and binge post-show and blow out. You can't do it this time. And guess what? Well, I did. I did. I've been on the seafood diet. You see it and you eat it. Okay, but today's the day. So today's date is November the 4th. It's 2.43 p.m. And it's, yeah, 11, 12 days post-show. Um, I've done my first workout since the show this morning. So I've literally not worked out once. I've not done any cardio. You know, I binged the night after the show, I binged the day after that, I binged the day after that, and any thought of going to the gym and continuing cardio had completely vanished because I was already feeling so shit about the food that I ate. I mean, this bodybuilding stuff is dangerous, mentally. It can really send people into spirals, you know? Whether that be binge eating or whether that be trying to trying to do the opposite and, and possibly, you know, developing some sort of anorexia or, or something crazy like that. You know, luckily I have the experience and I have the knowledge that I can drop weight, I can put on weight, I can clean things up and I will clean things up. So I'm not starting my bulk just yet, but I will be. The plan is to, uh, I'm actually going to do a marathon. <laughs> my next challenge after this bodybuilding show was to do a marathon and um, Queenstown is hosting their, their annual marathon. So I'm going to be doing that on November the 21st. And today being November the 4th, that means it's two and a half weeks away. So I'm going to focus on cardio as far as training is concerned for the next three weeks. That's going to give my body, I don't really care about it. You know, I'm a natural bodybuilder. I'm a natural lifter. I, you know, if I don't, if I do stop training, this muscle ain't going to go anywhere. You know what I mean? And I was so pleased with the fact that I were, I was able to maintain as much muscle as I did throughout this cut as a natural and still present a package on stage that I was half you know pleased with after fucking losing passion for the whole sport of bodybuilding over the last couple of years you know this is a real comeback it's been a real journey and thanks for being here man because it's been great <sighs> 
completely forgotten what I was going to say, but there is one point that I do need to make, and that is that Actually, no. After the marathon, that's when I'll start bulking. Okay, that's what I was going to say. But the final thing I want to say, and this is the most important, and, and the thing that I was missing, man, and I, I have been missing, and, and I know it. I know it. At age 29, okay, I was doing this by myself. Yeah, I had the support of my family, but I didn't have the support of my kids. I wasn't prepping with the mate, which could have made it so much better. And, you know, most of all, man, I didn't have a partner behind me. I didn't have a woman behind me. You know, they say every strong man has an even stronger woman. I, I don't have that. That's what I'm missing. I'm not going to say that I'm going to be out there looking for it specifically, but I'm certainly going to be open to it. You know, I am a closed book to most. And that is through not wanting to get hurt. That's through not wanting to get rejected. I would rather stay shut and not share uh, myself with someone because it's easier and that's just wrong that is wrong and so I'm gonna be trying to work on that you know what I mean but going back to the show the one thing I really did miss was was the support of a partner um, because that would have been incredible you know uh, not only with the day-to-day -day things like the the meals and the, the she, you know, she could have come on on walks with me in the morning and, and things like that. But uh, just that, that support I was missing. But thanks for all your support because it certainly kept me going. I know I've got a few of you out there. I know I've got a few of you out there that really do support my bodybuilding journey. You must like bodybuilding yourself. Um... I don't know where that passion came from for me, but I certainly, I've, I've got it, you know, I've always loved bodybuilding. I don't know if it's the actual physique, I don't know if it's the actual competing, in fact, I, I know it's not. It's not the actual competing, it's not the actual studying the physiques, although I do. It's everything that goes into it. It's the day-to-day -day grind, it's it's the training every day, it's, it's the fact that you only get out what you put in. That is what I love about it. So, I have some people to thank. I want to thank my coach Steve. We've been working together for about four months now. He's a great guy. And I did something in the show and in my posing routine that I did for him. It was a it was a it was a tribute to him. And um, You'll see it if you watched my my posing routine or if you follow me on Instagram You'll see the ox pose that I did and uh, basically it's a it's a backwards three-quarter um, double bicep and Steve when he does it as an IFBB pro he extends his his back arm into the air and Holds it there for a good couple of seconds and that has been that's that's his signature pose That is the ox pose and I've always loved it I never ever thought that I'd ever be able to pull it off on stage, but I did. And I pulled off my own version of it. So, Steve, thank you so much for, for, for your support. Thank you so much for, for working with me. I feel like we're friends now. And I finished it off, man. If I never get up there again, at least I can say I pulled off an ox pose on stage. So that was fucking cool. And if you want to see what it looks like, head to my Instagram page um, and, and you can check it out. Now, I want to thank my family and friends, of course. I want to thank everyone at the NZIS in my class for, for supporting me, um, for, you know, asking me how things are going, for training with me when I wanted you guys to, you know. It's, it's been incredible. Um, I did get some good support from the people around me at the NZIS, and I, I want to say thanks. Uh, I need to say thanks to Letitia, my friend from Christchurch, who sorted out my base tans. She gave me two tans before my first show, and two tans before my second show. So Letitia, you'll never see this video, but thank you so much. And, um, man, you know what? The rest of it was up to me. I traveled up to Tauranga by myself on Friday, uh, stayed Friday night, went to the show on, on Saturday, uh, stayed again Saturday night, and then <laughs> uh, one of the craziest things I did was I walked from my hotel eight kilometers with my bag to the airport to try and burn off some calories that I'd consumed in a binge post-show. Ugh! 
How fucked up was that? <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. So you can expect some more videos following this one actually talking about what I felt being 5% body fat, um, negatives and positives. Um, some of the craziest things I did whilst on prep because when you are 5% body fat, your body's burning calories like a furnace. You do do some crazy shit. And um, I hope you enjoy those videos. So bodybuilding is a big part of my life, man. It's never going to go away. And this channel is a big part of my life. And it's never going to go away. And I'm always going to be myself. And I'm always going to bring the content to the channel that, that I'm doing. I'm not going to... You know, I'm not going to do something when it feels like a chore and at times guys with the amount of reaction videos I've done in the past it does feel like a chore. So when you see reaction videos on this channel just know that I am wanting to do them and I'm not forcing it. Because if I was doing that I'd quit and we can't have that. So guys thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. <sighs> Second place. Actually I'll go get a medal. Hold on. Nick minute. Well, I was number 18 this time. I think I was number 7 in the South Island show. And um, here is my medal from the 2020 NZIFBB Natural National Championships. Natural National, well, Natural Nationals Championships 2020. Mate, look at this. Second place out of five, I should say. Um, second out of five and um, that meant that I didn't make it to the overall which is fine uh, but I think I should have got first I'm not gonna lie and actually in the prejudging I was in the middle the entire time and anyone that knows bodybuilding knows that if you are in the pre if you're in the prejudging you're in the middle the entire time they finish the prejudging you're still in the middle you're pretty much guaranteed a first place and that's the first time that's ever happened to me man I couldn't believe it <laughs> I was fucking buzzing but Lo and behold, you come back for the finals, so you come back for the, uh, the night show, even though it was a one show format, you come back, you do your posing routine, they judge you a second time, and then they make a final decision. And lo and behold, I went from effectively first into second. So that's fine. Um, plenty of room for improvement. And at the end of the day, my attitude was meant to be doing it for fun. But like I said, it went from fun to not so fun, but that's just because I was prepping so long. There are certain things that I will do different next time. I know I can get in that kind of shape way faster and way more efficiently next time. And that's exactly what I'll do. So I plan on, you know, doing this marathon, staying in shape, bulking up again. I will be at least 105 kilograms or 230 pounds before I uh, cut down again. And from Cutting down from that point rather than about 95 kilograms that I did this time, it's going to allow me to maintain a whole lot more muscle. I'm going to look bigger, fuller, more vascular, everything better on stage. And that's what bodybuilding's about. It's about progression. Who knows? Maybe next time I'll have that support. I'll definitely have the support of my kids. I'll tell you that much because... Um, I'm actually going back to Alice Springs on December the 20th. You heard it here first. And you'll hear more about that in future videos. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.